So you guys are wondering, you're like, Fire School Bus, you're a loser. You have almost 10,000 kills on ST, but you don't make how to raid dam guide. Well, today is the day I will be teaching you how to raid dam. Step one, you hold W. First, you'll spawn right here. Obviously, you spawn right here. And then, if you're ST, I'd recommend playing this cursor if you ever play ST. And then you hold W. And then you go all the way. You run all the way to P1. You hold W. You hope Jaws doesn't recon you five times in a row. So your stats are looking fresh, delicious. These are no life stats. You guys always want to have this when you raid damn and give you the most experience. You hold W. You don't swing far left here because Jaws will recon you and then you'll look like an idiot. What I always do is I do this. Boom, 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 boom. I do that every game. Now right here, the recon will most likely be playing main balk or playing this crystal that Jaws plays. And then I, what I do is I go up over here and I just make it like really hard for him to hit. Not saying recons can't hit that though. They do be able to hit that. And then you hold W. And you keep going. You can get reconned here pretty easily. That's why I bait my team there whenever I raid. I bait my team also here. If the recon's main balk, I always like to bait my team right there. Um, right here, I definitely bait my teammate. He'll be sitting right here. He'll be running, and I just sit right here until he gets shot by Jaws, and then I run across. Um, and then Defender, you never take first jump pad whenever you do P1 when you're raiding Dam. You will always... Now, I'll just show Defender. Like, usually you bait... You, you let, like, your worst player get shot by Recon, and then you push. Raider always goes first. Or, no, 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 the, no, Defender, see, the problem is with the Raid Leaders, they, when they do this push, they have, like, they just say, push, 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 they don't, like, organize, they kind of micromanage a little bit like that. They'll say push, and then the Raider Man will be uh, pushed in, and already by the time it's dead, Defender Man will be pushing, because it's, like, a long walk, so, like, you have to wait for both sides to get set up to push in at the exact same time. And you never go first jump pad on a good team. You can never go first jump pad. You'll get ST'd and aimbotted from assault. So you heal across the bottom. And then you go all the way to the top. And then that's when you kill them all. You flank them. Defender with your whole team. Assaults and ST will be flanking them right here. They'll be pushing out. ST, Defender ST is a smart one. will go from the jump pad and notice you're pushing bottom. And go all the way over here to ST. You coming up this jump pad instead and holding this. Which never works because they don't have enough time to react to get there in time because they always think you're going up uh, first jump pad. So you push across, you hold the defender side with your team, you clear out defender, and then you cross raider if they need help. And they'll mostly all the time, they'll be sitting right here on raider using this jump pad as a way to like get the cover and shoot defender and shoot. And then Devin Sage will be playing right here or they'll be playing right here. Devin Sage usually plays right here. A sewer flank, I think, is pretty stupid. Uh, I think, like, maybe a sewer flank would be good sometime, but honestly, I don't think you need a sewer flank. You just push across bottom. You can, though. I'm not saying it's a bad idea, because, like, Dev and Sage like to hold up close. Imagine your ST goes sewers, pops out, jumps, and STs on both free kills. And then you could push Raider bottom and win the whole push. Now, Vent. You never... When you hold Vent, you don't ever actually commit to Vent. You pocket the dev, so like I have Luminate would be dev when I'd raid with Orion, and me and May would just heal him. He'd get like two picks, maybe three or just one, and then we all run out of vent. We never hold this, never hold vent as ST, because you're just gonna die. You're just gonna get picks and then die, and it's not good, especially if your team's getting outskilled. So what I do is I could shift lock. Um, I'm not you. I have the ST gun right now, but. You could, like, pop what ST, get maybe, like, one pick and then run. Like, usually, like, I have, like, a pick, a rule, like, I get, like, one pick and vent, and then I run back, and then I play up here at this angle. I've been playing this angle for, like, maybe six months. I've never seen Raider STs ever really do this until now. Like, they'll, now they start to do this. I've done this, like, way before. Like, you just sit up here. One would go up, you'd STM. Now, it's not like this is a spot guaranteed not to get countered. Like, Battle Rope, people like Battle Rope can counter this pretty easily. It's not a bad angle, though. Get, like, one pick run instantly. Because usually the Defender ST doesn't always hit that shot. And if they do try to commit for you, they get fucking aimbotted from Assaults on Rafters. So it's like a win-win situation in a way.
And uh, it's just to be annoying. Your goal as an ST is to be annoying. It's not to, like, get picks and then suicide and then think you're the best of the game because you got a bunch of picks in that. That's not how ST works. Gotta be annoying as fuck. Now I'm gonna show P2. I'm gonna fly myself so this doesn't take too long. So after you went P1, and what I do every time when it's 480, I push down the vent. I always push down the vent after it's four, after it passed like 410 seconds. I start going down the vent, and then I hold with ST, and you literally just pop this vent coming. Literally shoot them one by one. It's actually free picks if you play it right. You can kill their whole team if you play that vent right. Now, um, recon angles, I'm not going to go over because I don't even really play recon like that. You'd have to ask someone who actually plays it every day, like Crash and Jaws. Um... Okay, P2. You don't reset to choose a side. Like, it's going to spawn you in place. It's going to spawn you, like, over here to go Raider and Defender. For, and this is only... Uh, assaults can go Defender Water, push up. Assaults hold right there, shooting down at the Defender Vent when they come out. And Defender Hallway. They'll be hugging that right wall, which would be a free pick. Defender STs always go in the water. They push up with their team. You never play passive as an SC. You always play aggressive. Don't fucking... Only play passive as an SC in P1. And P3. So you push up. Go away to Defender Water. STs. Defender... Like, the best thing about ST is, like, you just run around and kill people. Like, honestly, Assaults have to play smarter. Assaults have to play these angles back here so they don't get ST'd... Uh, get ST'd from STs coming out of this Defender event. All STs can do is... As an ST, you can sit right here. And this is Raider ST. You can sit right here and pop them. Or you can sit right here and pop them as well. Gabe likes to play this spot. I know Gabe and Trucify, I think, play this spot as Raider STs when they're right here. They always sit here. They'll pop. So, like, literally, it's actually so free. Like, that's this is honestly the better angle nowadays, this right here, instead of... The old classics sit right here and pop them because, like, just so easy to counter. Your goal is to play spots in ST that isn't easy to counter so you can get more picks. A spot I used to do... Now, when you spawn Raider side, you go up the jump pad, you take the vent. You don't go Raider bottom. Most your leader once you go in Raider bottom. And you're like, well, fire, it's playing for kills. And I'm like, no, it's not. If you're smart... Okay, it's not playing. It's not playing for kills, all right. And my team gets uh, the skate anyway when I go for me. Honestly, main box better to hold as an ST than just bottom. Cause why wait for them to just like drop on you with maybe like a pocket dev and an ST just fucking pushing you when you can just go main balk. You take the vent. You never go hallway. And the problem with raid leaders when they get the P two, they do full team hallway. I like, guess the problem with these raid leaders, you don't ever micromanage like that. They just like say push hallway. Like that's not leading. That's the problem with, like, some of today's leaders. So you go in this vent, you get TP'd. And then you look out, you can zoom out. You can zoom out from here, see? You can zoom out, see where they're at. Peen them. What I like to do is I peen them. I would peen them, and then I drop STM every time. Like, I like peening uh, the people, which makes it easier to, like, see them. Just, like, be able to just drop instantly and kill them, and they don't have enough time to react. Even when STs are holding this, like, like let's say an ST was right here. So look how I can zoom out. If I angle it properly, if I can do it. See how you can, like, see out farther? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I used to... Oh my god, what am I... I used to be able to... I was doing this so easily. Why can't I do this now? Yeah, yeah, like that. And if you angle it right, you can literally see all the way through main valve. So you can literally see all the way through here and just check out main valve and peen people instead of like being limited because everybody just zooms out like this. But you can do that so you can hug the corner and then free zoom out between main valve. It's way better to do that. Now, I'm going to show you a trick that you can do. There will be a shadow right here i can't really see because i have nobody else in the server with me 
but there'll be a shadow they'll be and that's how you can tell they're going to fender bay you'll see the shadow and be moving across the roof that's the easiest way to tell when they're about to drop instantly their shadow even comes to like right here too which is crazy you can literally see exactly the time they drop if you look at their shadow um so we're gonna do so that was basically like getting to gate for p2 now when you have gate and everything p2 you split it you don't actually you send most of your team raider hallway that's what i would do and then some like few people going to take the vent to get ready to drop because one they have to dedicate one sc for the drop and their other sc is going to be playing right here so their the fender sc will be playing right here just popping this and then right and then their other st will be like i see some st sit right here and then which is weird I, I don't know if that was a really great angle for me i'd say like right here i also just get in their face i like getting into people's like fucking faces and shit when they drop that's honestly why i just think how st should be played instead of playing so passive all the time as an st um not saying it's a bad angle i'd try that angle out if you wanted to play st so literally all you do is you push out, you take control of Raider after you kill them, and then you go all the way to Defender. And then that's literally it. You go to Defender, you should always have a payload team assigned. Um, so they can't push back payload all the way to your to P1. And like, just literally so nobody gets in the way. Like, having a payload team, payload team should always be sitting right here. Payload probably should be at this ramp right here. And then every time payload should not move from there and then your payload team sits right here gets ready to push it and then after you have control of that main bot i just showed you you drop you take dev and sage you don't even need your whole team to drop it's just enough of your team to clear the bottom of it and then you hold the top of the glass you never actually hold the bottom of dev and sage because you get easily sc and everything so you want to keep those people just clear down there and then the rest sitting at this glass and shoot and fucking aim botting them when they come out of this vent and literally that's it and then your payload will be right here and then it will turn your payload will turn and that's called game past the corner that's what people say when like payloads past the corner shit that's what that means okay what you do is your payload team should be sitting it should never go under payload that's so stupid i i don't know why people do that unless like there's a um Recon, which shouldn't matter. Your Raider Recon should always be countering the Defender Recon because that's what the person's going to be making plays, P2, unless your team's getting outskilled. And so your, your Payload team should always sit on top of Payload. It'll be like the front of the Payload will be right here. There's the back. You crouch on top of it. Use the back. There's like a little... Hold on, let me see if I can go to Payload. It's all the way still at P1 because it's not officialized. But... um. I'm not going to do the admin and everything just to show it, but... So you'll be, like, sitting right here with your payload team. There's no actually invisible wall thing right here. And your payload team will be crouched into this little corner so it can't get hit from Devin Sage. It'll be, like, a little cover, and then you all heal. And then that's how I did it with Lockbear. Me and Lockbear, Deadass got 3,000 heals, and we were both, the, like, assaults. Or, no, I was an ST. He was an assault. And we literally made it past P2. There's, like, streams of it, if you look at it. It was, like, Orion rating a stream of it it's frog's last uh d uh stream uh defense that she streamed a uh, damn pretty sure you can see it at it's on p2 but yeah you go all the way and then after you get past the corner you say fuck the bottom of devon sage and they'll be crossing from the bottom because they already committed devon sage well after defenders cleared so they'll be right across trying to shoot the payload trying to run at the payload and kill you and so that's why people from main bulk would be, I'd be calling them to drop onto the bottom and flanking these group of, it's probably like a group of three, Dev, Sage, and an Assault, or ST. Push it across, and that would be so free, because Bane Malk would drop and flank them, aim bottom in the ass, and then you send off spawns to back Malk. This is all for Raiders, by the way. Defenders, is, I'm not going to go over Defenders, really, because it's not that complicated to defend the space. Um, Raiders will be going through here to back Malk, and their goal... It's to not put... I see I see every team do this. It fucking... I lose my mind when I see this. They go up the jump pad, and they push up all the way to these double crates, and they're assault. They're not even ST. They're assaults. I could understand an ST, but an assault should never play here. Assault should never play here. Assault should go up the jump pad and sit at this crate 
and wait for them to commit. This is just a waiting game. You just wait for the defenders to make a play because you have a control of everything. So why push them? So yeah, you do that. Um, another good thing for ST is to hold the bottom because they'll drop off the back back. They have to. They should never be pushing the top. So that's why it's just sit there and just counter their mistake to easily fucking destroy them when they do a mistake. So forces them drop. STs will play right here, STing them. Yeah, they have to. They a defender should always drop off the back balk and try to push bottom, and then try to shoot payload from there. And that's really all you do. And then that's P two. And this is literally the hardest phase. I could confidently say that if defender, if Snowcore literally like actually could understand their base, like, and it's crazy because they all like think they understand their base like that, and they've been defending it for years. And I'm like, I don't even know how Snowcore still loses this phase. Like, I, this is the most defender-sided phase. Because Raider phase, honestly, pretty Raider-sided. And I'm not saying it's always like that. Like, Snowcore is honestly better at defending P3 than P2. Which is really weird. Um, okay. Raiders, a strat you can do. I do it for memes and shit, but it actually works. Raider team goes all the way and just sits in here for, like, 30 seconds. And then pushes out and goes... Goes green. Because they're all rotating the red. So you go green, your whole team goes green. You never go green vent first push. You never go to green vent. You don't go to green vent because they have a defender ST holding that. So you always go green hallway. Go take the jump pad, your whole team commits. Pain or not, they may have recon here. Honestly, I never see a recon play here for the green, which is weird because I would honestly expect like a recon player all the time. Instead of like, because they always like, what I noticed about Snowcore is they always, when we do this, their recon's already rotated red. Their recon is not ready. Because, you know, they're all fucking confused. Because you just baited the fuck out of them red vent. But it's kind of weird because they should have enough time to get around and go to green. But yeah, your whole raider team pushes. When you push with your raider team, there will be a defender ST that I was just talking about. Holding this vent like this. He'll sit right here. Honestly, the best ST position as a defender is to hold right here. And then ST them TPing through. That's the best way to do it. Because you can't just sit back and then get five. So it's an easy way to get five. Um. So yeah. That's what Raiders should be doing. Raiders should rally. Send some assaults on the wide swing. Even a recon. And honestly, if there's so many like at this barrier, if defenders have a lot more than usual, just bait for the recon to get picks. Getting one by one. That's what we do for skills. Skills. We bait for skills. Skills get like one or two picks without any of us dying. And so that limits the numbers, and then we commit. And we take green. They're holding the green nest. They have STs sitting right here. And then an ST right here. And then they're holding term as well. With Sold sitting back on the red nest in a recon named Jazator sitting right here. And... What you want to do with the Raiders, okay, what you want to do with Raiders is Recon gets boosted up. Jaws always plays here. This is the best recon position, in my opinion, on red. For this, for all Raiders. So you're, you'll are you get stacked up. Raiders should always play pushed up, like Illuminated and, a like, let's say a Dread and a Sage could stay here and hold red. With a Recon, that would easily hold red. Your Assaults, Assaults for Raiders should never play here should never play here. Never. It should go all the way to green and play pushed up. It's like an assault sitting right here. Assault sitting right over here. Literally all of you, all of the goal of the green assaults is to shoot them coming out of green vent. We even had like me and Crucify play pushed up as STs here. Because we already had a recon dev and sage holding red. So it's literally all we had to do. It's so free. So free. But raid leaders don't understand damn like that sadly so like they always lose here and then they say it's defender sided and then they wonder why they lose when it's not even defender side it's all strategy it's literally like i'm telling you it's literally all strategy but nobody wants to use their fucking brains to like learn this base or know the base like that i literally took four assaults pushed up green and they cleared 10 people 10 defenders are you can you believe that you would four assaults that are raiders jaws sinnings Ricky and some other soul just pushed up here on green and literally killed 10 every time it would be Kakashi and shit it wasn't even a bad defense team this team 
literally took us almost into overtime. But they got all got outsmarted. And then since Snowcore leaders like to stack and shit and can't use their brains, and then when they do balancing, it just ends up wasting people's time when they because they don't know the members like that of other groups, which, I mean, it's fine, I guess. I guess balancing can be hard. But, dude, but there's a, that's what I'm saying. So, like, literally, right now, like, literally, this, like, it's literally just not hard to raid this base. Like, literally, you just gotta micromanage people. Raid leaders don't micromanage. They just tell people to do it and then expect them to do it. This is not, like, a frigid chalice to late download team, all right? This is, like, fucking normals or elites, okay? Like, they have to fucking use their brains, okay? Like, literally, that's what it is right now. But that's really that's really it. Like, um, that's pretty much it about Dan. I mean, if you want, you can comment. Let me know about just anything you want to know about Dan. But yeah, fire school bus, the best, ten k kills almost on ST. Um. Sorry about the noise. There's a construction guy. I'm gonna go. Peace.